So hiya folks, I, uh, like I said, the cast for the guitar, I've uh, had a go at that, uh, with varying, uh, well, degrees of success and failure. <laughs> Some of it I thought I was filming, I didn't film, and uh, as I said, one of the casts, well, one of the casts didn't work, uh, but I'll show you what I've done. I did get a bonus bacon sandwich out of it though, <laughs> me and my son, we, uh, while, while the forge was still hot we had a little bit of a bit of a bacon sandwich but anyway have a look through see what you think nice to be nice cheers see you later so folks as i said last week i'm going to try and get this cast today and i might do a couple of other parts if i can tail piece might even try a bridge but if i do a bridge i'm gonna have to set this neck well, let me just show you at a slight angle to bring the bridge up to a height that I want because I might try to do it, excuse me, I might try and do it like a, a little bit like a, a violin bridge, if you know what I mean, a little bit fancy but in aluminium. And if all goes well with this then I'll do the body black like this is, this is actually again a piece of oak, I just stained it with um, wire wool and vinegar, it's a very simple stain. The uh, only thing that worries me about this is it's quite thin. Now, when, when the aluminium dries, or sets, not dries, <laughs> it's not paint, it's aluminium. Um, when it sets, it, might, it tends to shrink, so where I pour it, it might shrink. So I'm going to have a look at it. I'm going to give it a go, and uh, I'll show you how we get on with it, providing. Weather permitting, it's a little bit rainy today, and if it's too rainy, then I won't be doing it. I'll be playing with the bass, because I've just been digging around in my... Uh, bits box and I've got a bass tuner and like I said I might put some weed whacker wire on it and because of that I'll be able to tune it better and work out a scale on it and if I can tune it to a decent tune I might be able to play it along with the guitar not at the same time obviously but anyway we'll see how we get on I'm gonna cut that out I'm uh, not gonna bore you with watching that I'm just cutting polystyrene so guys I hope you can see I've cut this out I've sanded it down a bit um, I've marked it here, that'll show up on actual cast because I've, I've marked it but it, and pressed in, it'll show up on cast and that's where my plug's going to go through hopefully, fingers crossed so I've cut my blanks out and uh, I'm going to give these a try to cast them I've gone thicker than I need to because this is obviously not very stable, it's easy to snap and I don't want to snap it I've gone thicker than I want to on this and higher so I'll probably have to cut it off at the bottom, but that's not a problem. And I'm going to see how we go with these, and uh, I'll try and get I'll get the forge set up now and try and get these poured. And see how we go. I've got to put some inlets and outlets, so I'm just going to stick some bits on here while I get forge burnt up. Stick some bits on here and pour it out to the bottom again on bottom, and then what I cut off and grind off and grind down. Obviously I won't get that done today, but uh, if we can get the blanks done, it gives me something to work on. I've slotted this, that's where strings are going to go through. I'll have to work it out and, uh, and drill it later. So, their parts, I've put them in. I haven't put bridge in. Um, I might leak bridge and cut that out of a piece of aluminium, don't know yet. Basically, I've buried them in sand, shuffled it down. This stuff's starting to melt. Just go and get a stirring stick, another aluminium stirring stick. Now, yes, as you can see, it's liquid inside. I'm going to put my gloves on. I am wearing a uh, hat and uh, safety glasses, so I would definitely recommend that. Last piece in quite a big lump, so that'll take a bit of time to melt down. As you can see, it's just solidified now because that's cold, but it won't take long. I might have to do another little bit of a refill just to make sure it gets keeps heat up for that, but it shouldn't be long before I pour it. Set up with a camera there so you can see what's happening. I did put that uh, bridge in there, see how it goes. So it's just about done ready for the pour very soon. Well 
Well, that was the best this egg he's ever eaten, apparently, my boy just said. I will test it to confirm. Excuse me chewing, but I'll, let's have a look how this pour went. Got quite a bit of editing about do. So, the one that might have worked. Fail. It come off the actual thing. Bugger. The one that I thought didn't work. The one that I thought had worked, failed. And the one that I thought had failed, it's worked. That's a bonus. So there it is done. <laughs> I've got a bit of filing to do on back and bring it flat. But basically I'm gonna leave it like that in rough state. I quite like it and if you see I'll put it against that black. I think it'll look pretty cool on guitar. I'm gonna have to do the uh, <laughs> another cast of the bridge. I know exactly what I did wrong. I tried to cast them both in the same box of sand like a fool and uh, the sand got hot and melted other the other form so bit of a bugger but you live and learn I'll not do that again but I'm quite pleased how that's turned out and it's rough it's, it's rustic I like it <laughs>